YouTube, what's up? Good morning. This is Henry with Bearded Fishing MD. Um, so it's early in the morning. It's about 6:45. I'm uh, getting ready to head out to Fredericksburg, Virginia, for their fishing flea market that they're having today. Um, <clears throat> I'm super stoked. I am uh, extremely excited about this. Uh, it's where I pick up all my gear for the um, season. <clears throat> so. The uh, Fish and Free Market is actually hosted by the Fraternal Order of Eagles. Um, and uh, they do this every year. They've done it for, as long as I can remember, I think I've been going for the past eight years or so. Um, but uh, they have local vendors selling their old gear, selling their custom baits, custom rods, um, you know, just stuff that they want to get rid of. Um, so it's where... You know, I come along and I get to meet people, I get to converse, and I get to actually talk about, you know, what they're fishing for, what they're using, and um, of course, you, know, you can't tell your secrets. A few goals I'm here to look for, um, I want to pick up a few crankbaits, especially lipless since I have a few. I would like to get some soft baits, like uh, flukes or paddles or something like that for rockfish, um, see if I can pick up. Uh, some crazy jigs, um, some micro jigs as well for crappie. Um, just trying to see if I can get you know myself with some crazy stuff, crazy gear to f fish with. Um, so the fish and flea market, I know they have a fee. All proceeds will benefit the Inova Fairfax Heart Center. So they do do it for a great cause. Um, it's a charity that they always do it for. And I think it's awesome to um, support a local um, fishing free market, you know, just to enjoy and get rid of that itch, you know, because um, it's, it's it's cold out there, so it's kind of uncomfortable to go fishing out there now. So let's see what I can get myself into, and uh, hope you guys enjoy. Hello, what is up? Good to see you. It's been a while. Yes, Happy New Year. Happy How New are you? Yep, I'm excited. Yeah, man. Yep. We're going to look forward to that. Yep. Yeah, um, definitely. Edit that Let's little see. thing I just did. <laughs> Please. Will do. Um, What's the... um? Go ahead. Go ahead. Really, uh, I appreciate that. Yep, will do. How are you, buddies? Good to see you. Well, well. Thanks. <laughs> Look at these cranks. Ah, these are badass. Look at that. Oh, but these are beautiful. I'm taking them. See these custom baits? They're custom painted. Check that out. I tell you what these are, alright? These right here, you buy the lure, and then you buy, it's a decal. Like your old model car decal. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. You put the decal on it, and then you clear coat it with pocket. Took it that. And these I painted by hand, with air buzz. I you, made those myself by hand. You got some talent, huh? Well, not really, I just don't. <laughs> I've been buying paint work for 35 years. So, but that's my base when I paint them right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see that. Jeez. Yep. Yeah, just detail on them looks great. See that? I love that detail. Look at these chatters. Look at the chatters. Look at that bad boy. 
It's good to see ya. Your table? Nice, that's smart. Jeez. Tip of the iceberg, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just a bit, huh? Perfect for crappie, huh? Oh, yeah. Back in the day, Quantum used to have contest where people would use those reels and they would take pictures of how big a fish they would catch. And you'd see people with six pound bass and little reels. <laughs> you know, they used to do they that. Raising, yeah, they had that micro uh, spin line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Look at the detail on that. Jeez. How are you, bud? Look at all these buzz baits. They're pretty cool. Very neat. Very good. How are you? That is so cool. Ah, oh, jeez. What does do when he feels threatened? Yeah. Cool. That's very what cool. And you make these? Yeah. Supernatural jazz. I make them. I pour the lead heads in my garage, paint them, and then I tie them up. These are neat. Thanks, man. Yeah, that's an awesome demonstration right there. That's Thank too you. cool. It worked. You ever fish for smallmouth and Rappahannock? I catch more in this than anything. Especially that one in the middle. That makes them mad. They hit it like they're angry. I mean, you can feel it. And that is what? This one here? No? Uh, more like this. Ah, uh, yep, 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 I see. And the brown, the brown color like that on the wrap, to me, is the best. Hey guys, what's up? Um, so I just came back from the fish and flea market, and uh, I'm just really excited to show you guys what I picked up today. Um, picked up a few soft baits, picked up some line, picked up uh, a few little chatter baits and panfish baits and some hard baits here, which I'll show you. I'm very excited to show you guys that in a bit. But I'm going to start off with the flutes. Most of the stuff here I picked up for about a buck or two. Uh, a lot of these are brand new. Most of them are brand new. Like these right here are brand spanking new. They haven't even been open. So, start off with this right there. This is Saltwater Assassin. You can pick them up for about five or six bucks at Bass Pro. Or I usually go to my local store, which is Angler's, right on 50. It's a store in Maryland. And uh, yeah, see those paddle tails? Brand new. They haven't even been open. I picked this literally for a dollar. This one was open because, you know, I was playing with them. Chartreuse, one of my favorite colors. Chartreuse paddle, and they're very slimy. And it has like a garlicky scent. I'm not a big fan of, but hey, that right there as well. I think for glow in the darks are a little bit more expensive uh, due to the glow in the dark. But that's you can tell right there. It's very very neat. Picked up some zoom flukes as well. Some zoom flukes. Some toads. Toads are very neat, and this is going to be very, very nice to play with on the bay. Check that out. I think this is about 7 inch flute. Love the color on that. Put a nice little 1 ounce jig head. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I got that. And I got these as well. I think this is like, yeah, Rage Swimmer. Rage Swimmer paddles with ripples on it. 
This will make a nice effect on the water. I know stripers will very, very tear them up or tear them up. Uh, let's see what else I have. Ah, my favorite one. Can't miss that. This right here is from Hurricane. It's like a minnow. But you can't tell on the inside. It has like a pinkish, like a bloody, um, like vein on the inside. It looks very neat. You can't tell from this angle, but yeah, it's very cool. Put a nice little jig head to that. I know these will be demolished. 20 pound string line. This is mono. I picked this up for a buck. These usually go for, I, I can't even tell you, but it's a uh, 330 yards. I'll be using this for leader for stripers, so that'll be cool. And now I uh, have yeah, this custom jig from Juan Chavez. He has a website called supernaturalbassjigs.com. I was, uh, you, you, I think I saw the demonstration on what these new guys can do on the water. Once you jig this bad boy on the water, the, the feathers or legs will spread out and imitate an angry crayfish, which is very cool. I think that's very neat. Crankbaits. Crankbaits, lipless jigs. Let me show you guys what I got. See for my live target, I think makes these. It's a school of fish inside the crankbait. That is too cool. It's very neat. Can't beat that. I think I picked this up for three bucks. I got three for ten. Um, on a different table. Here's a whopper plopper. I'll do a small demonstration of what this guy will do. Ah, shoot! Freaking hook. See that? So this is a top water lure. Now once you reel it in, the tail will make some action on the top water and imitate a um, injured fish. That'll be badass. I can't wait to try that out. This lipless crankbait is from Booyah. It's transparent. Has a whole bunch of balls in the inside. Beads. That's transparent. Looks like crayfish. I know that'll be. This is a Spro Oruku Shad with a yellow perch colorway. I think they did a very nice job on that. Check that out. The color on is beautiful. And I was actually looking on uh, YouTube, top like five crankbaits, and this was actually listed. Shoot. That was actually listed. It was a coincidence that I happened to see it. I had to pick it up. I'm going to try them out. And I think these are too cool. These are very neat. Check these out. Micro crappie crankbaits. I think they're very cool though. So now you guys have an idea of what you guys, you know, can pick up at a flea market. Um, there's a variety of things. You will never find, you know, the... Um, same things once because once you got them they're gone um, so I really recommend you guys searching your local fishing flea markets they usually happen in the late winter right before spring starts hitting um, and they most of them have fees uh, the Frederick Burr fishing flea market I think is about four bucks but they support a great cause for the Eagles Club there um, check them out <laughs> So, if you like this video, if you can do me a favor, subscribe to my channel. Um, if you have any questions on what type of crankbaits I got, here's a, another peek at that. A few of them. They're very neat. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me a question. Um, send me a message. I'll respond to them. I'll be putting some more content soon. Once the weather starts warming up, we'll do a lot of more action. I might be doing some fishing in the weekend, so hopefully we can get some 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 fish with these lures. So thank you guys for visiting my uh, channel and I hope you